Okay, I want to cover uh, transluminous events. Uh, they're mainly caused by lightning storms. And uh, a lot of UFOs get blamed on transluminous events. So, uh, as lightning, lightning can go sky to sky, it can go uh, ground to sky, sky to ground, and then sky to sky. So, as it's, as it's jumping around, there's uh, charges going everywhere, right, left, up, down. And there's energy bleeding off everywhere. Well, uh, as as the uh, you know, there's there's obviously more potential in the ground, uh, ground to sky. Obviously, so this this is the ground to sky. You don't see everybody thinks lightning always comes from the sky to the ground, the sky to sky. But it actually comes from the ground sometimes. And uh, these will cause uh, things called transluminous effects. And uh, Get this, get this going a little bit more for you so you can see the effects of lighting. This is very fast. This would be a whole, this would be a three hour storm condensed into that, that time period. I'm gonna slow it down here a little bit. So, uh, here, here's an arc uh, that's a, a ground to sky arc. And like I said, a lot of people don't even realize that lightning does that, but it causes uh, the charges will cause a thing called trans luminous events and transluminous events are, are given pretty cool names they're called elves sprites pixies gnomes and trolls and they'll appear generally you'll see them the most over thunderstorms and there's a sprite and here here's a picture of it uh, over over a storm and this was the first picture taken of one that was identified actually as a sprite in uh, 1989 so what they're doing is they're interacting with a Van Allen radiation belt. Uh, you can actually see where the thunderstorm is here. But this is the lower part of the Van Allen radiation belt. So the thunderstorm's down here. You're getting you're getting where you're running out of atmosphere here. So the sprites are, are interacting with the with the energy in the uh, in the thermosphere, and then that's that's the that's the lower layer of the Van Allen radiation belt. So uh, let's go back to the generating of the storm. So as it's coming up, you know, there's uh, gigawatts of power going up. And the moisture in the sky can only hold so much. There's already a charge up there. So uh, if the Earth's bleeding power up, it's going to go across. And some's going to actually go up. And that's going to create the, the pixies the sprites and the, the trolls. And those are, like I said, those are the whimsical names for uh, a lightning storm. Uh, but uh, you'll, you'll get those predominantly when the ground is at actually adding to the charges in the sky. Because the charge in the sky will generally obviously discharge into the ground or they'll uh, go uh, sky to sky. But, but when it's a real big thunderstorm and there's the ground is adding to the sky that's when you get the pixies gnomes and trolls and sprites so uh something to check out they're called transluminous events and they're actually uh interacting with the van allen radiation belt and they're they're being uh they're being repelled by it so uh, uh that energy has to go somewhere and it makes these things called transluminous effects and uh so that's it's it's uh, electricity uh, interacting with the Van Allen radiation belts, uh, which have uh, more continuous energy than, than an actual, uh, any kind of thunderstorm. And as a matter of fact, they're bleeding energy back in. But sometimes the earth, like I said, is given back power from the ground, you see with ground strikes. And uh, that, that causes those uh, transluminous events. Uh, check it out, it's pretty cool, thanks.